Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time we made it to Kara Kara Bazaar, we saw Varnaboris in the, the sandstorm cloud, and we had a look at her memory. So now, let's have a look around. There's a few shops here, selling some materials and stuff. We can also sell stuff if we need money. Maybe there's also, it looks like there is, a chest in the middle of this little pond, lake thing here. So let's see if we can get that out. Just gonna pull that up, and that's open. Silver Rupee. Hmm? Oof. Looks like I fell asleep. Good morning. Though it's Savota in Gerudo, isn't it? But before I say any more, have we met before? I came here from Rito Village. Rito Village? Uh. Yes, Rito Village. Far to the north of here. It's a modest village on the Tabantho frontier. I had a great plan, you know. I left Rito Village to earn some money out of the world. But it's so incredibly hot here during the day. It's been tough to work up the will to go any further. I would like to see what Crudo Town looks like, even if I can't go inside, it's just so hot. I heard there's an elixir that can help beat the heat, it's made from insects with cooling effects and monster parts. But they don't seem to be selling the elixir anywhere. I've heard insects with these cooling effects live in the cold parts of the Grudo Highlands, but... Well, the monsters there are, are rough, to say the least. So I'm not having a lot of success getting myself motivated. An ice guy. Good job game, you did it. And now, let's have a look at some more of these shops. We have some hydromelon here. This resilient fruit can flourish even in the heat of the desert. The hydrating liquid inside provides a cooling effect that when cooked increases your heat resistance. So why was the guy having trouble with heat with that and all? We also have palm fruit. Fruit from palm trees that grow near, um, the ocean. It doesn't offer any special effects, but it will increase your heart recovery when cooked into, uh, uh, as an ingredient. Well, there we go. There's also a dog here, I guess? It might actually be a different type of dog. No, it's still a Highland Retriever. Which probably means there's a chest nearby that I'm gonna miss with just a general search. Which is gonna be funny. I wonder if it, oh, it could be the chest inside the lake though. Unless it's that thing over there. Looks like it is. Let's grab... Let's grab that, please. Err, yank. And let's see what's inside. Probably a hundred rupees. Or possibly some ice arrows. Oh, it's just a fifty rupee. Okay, close enough. But anyway, there's an inn here that we can stay at if we need to, I believe. Over here. Which sells all the types of arrows here, by the looks of it. Just make sure I have... I haven't got fire arrow, so let's grab that. It actually looks really cool. Like this, we have bomber here that we haven't got as well. Bomber. Thank you. I've already got a shock arrow, so... Yeah, the fire one looks really cool, like this, because it's, look, look at the how it's all gem-like, and... Uh, the ice is a little similar, but not quite as good. Same with the electricity. Just like the way the red one looks as a gem thing at the end. Oh. Oops, sorry. Uh, I want to buy, I want to sell. What are you selling? I only sell arrows. They're on the counter, to your left. If you're looking for something else, try the Gerudo Town. Oh right, if I weren't allowed in Gerudo Town. Hmm? Did you need something else? I'm good for now, actually. So maybe I can't stay here, but I guess I can stay here. Oh. Savota, that divine beast, it feels like it gets a little bit closer every day. Oh. Wonder how long it will be before I can get back to Gerudo Town. Well, I've already talked about Gerudo Town. Don't want to be stuck here, but I don't want to be zapped by an angry creature's lightning, either. 
He finally saw one, perhaps a hero just passing through town could take care of the divine beast. I'm here to help you. Go, we lost a lot of business ever since that divine beast started stomping out in the desert. The sound of that divine beast walking might be loud, but the beds are still comfy. Want to, do you want to stay? Regular bed is 20 rupees, and the soft bed is 40. Well, we don't need to stay here, stay here, but anyway. I believe though, if we go up here... Rumor Mill Volume 7. This is Tracy. I have a taste for the rumors of the world long gone, and the world's yet to come. Everyone's gossiping in the present world. Here's my favorite bit of the latest news. The secret of the royal family of Hyrule. I heard a rumor that there's something to be found in, inside Hyrule Castle. And that something is a secret room of Rome Bosphoramus, Hyrule, the last king of Hyrule. There's also supposedly a laboratory that belonged to his daughter Princess Zelda, a double discovery. I bet there are all kinds of amazing royal family secrets hidden, hidden in those rooms just waiting to be revealed. Secrets of the royal family uncovered. That headline alone would keep food on the table for months. But there's no way I'm going anywhere near a place that as dangerous as Hyrule Castle, no way. Don't let that scare you though. Tracy's recommendation, five stars. Cool, good to know. I probably don't want to go there anytime soon, but anyway. What's another recipe? Some of the ingredients are actually nearby. In the shop, so. Now, are you selling something or are you, you doing anything at all? Savota. Who are you? Uh, you. You're a vow, aren't you? I am, why? Um, no. I bet Mama would have a problem with a de delicate vow like you. Oh, yes. I am Ron R Ronson. I hail from Grudo Town. This, this search for love of. Uh, for the love of my life. I'm so exhausted by it. Sounds rough. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why I'm even saying this. It's no business of a hiding like you, but... I'm constantly being bothered by my mother over not having found the love of my life. Why the rush? You don't know, really? It's incredibly rare for a male to be born to the Gerudo. For our own survival as a people, we travel to find husbands. I've proven myself to be a gifted uh, tailor, but none of the foe I've met seem to appreciate a well-hemmed garment. I was hoping to, my craft would help me find a mate, but it doesn't seem like there's much work for a tailor around here. I wonder if there really is someone out there for me. Okay. Guess she needed to kind of vent. Is that a soup ladle? Yes, it is. Also another traveler here. Oh. Hey. Mm. Um, you're... A traveler? Oh. oh, I see. Well, we're merchants. We wanted to make it to Gruda Town to sell our goods, but we were stopped before we could go in. They only let women into that town, and to think that... Uh, we, to think we came all the way out here. Our leader went to Gruda Town to try to figure out what we can, uh, how we can get inside. Aww. But he hasn't come back yet. I imagine he isn't having a ton of luck. There's also a high tail lizard that I want to grab for upgrades because I need that. Grab you, thank you. And I guess now that that all that is done, let's actually head this way. For Garuda Town now. Which might take a little bit of time, but it's not that crazy, so. Also, I just realized I should have been taking pictures of things in the shop. I can still do that. I'm still here, so. Also, some vault fruit. Cacti found in the Garuda Desert bear this sweet fruit. It's naturally insulated, so when cooked into a dish, it provides resistance against electricity. That could be good. That could be very good. Let's grab some more of that. And let's go take those pictures that I just mentioned. Ok, 
Hey, the light's having a bit of trouble, probably because of the clouds going over, but anyway. Let's just do a bit of this, Mighty Bananas. I'm pretty sure we've seen those already from um, the being dropped from, what's it called? What are they called? The Yiga Clan people. Hydromelon. Palm fruit. I think this person here selling it isn't very happy. Just in general. Now, anything over here? I'm pretty sure I've had I had everything over here already. Yes. Well, they're just food anyway. And most parts. So anyway. Oh, there's also that person up there that I want to talk to. That sandstorm. They say it stops for a few hours a day, but it hasn't let up even a little since I've been watching. That is quite a sandstorm. Rumor has it, an ancient civilization hid a treasure inside that sandstorm. I've been there here for days, waiting for the storm to settle down so I can grab so I can nab it. I just hope it wasn't a bad lead. Wait, who did you say you were again? Are again? I have the sandstorm, which is that shrine that we marked earlier, and because we marked that there was a shrine there, we don't have to worry about being lost in the middle of that sandstorm. Also, there's the last tower that we haven't marked on our map, so let's just do that, and then we'll get there eventually. But yeah, that's all the towers marked, so we know where they are now. Which is a pretty good start. Now let's head to Gerudo Town. The temperature is getting very high. Okay. Link's looking a bit worn out from the heat. Where is there? Let's drink that. Takes down a bar of heat. Good. It's basically the same as getting too cold. Just the other way around, basically. Okay, this sand seems a bit slow, but that's okay. Just need to keep moving. And the music's different here, too. I definitely didn't play much of this game the first time I played it with sound, apparently. Some more vault fruit if I need it, but I don't think I do at the moment, so I'm just going to keep walking. Okay. Getting very close now. Since we can actually start seeing detail of Gerudo Town. Such a big area there. That's a big dust storm over there as well. It's a shame that running in the sand is slowing me down there. Just a little bit. Okay, then the road is available or seeable on the map now. And we can start hearing music. Err, go faster. So, as we approach, we can see some guards out the front. And as we enter Gerudo Town, uh, it wasn't me. Freeze! Where do you think you're going? Huh? Not into town, that's for sure. No vote allowed. Off with you. So they aren't happy with me going in there. So we'll be looking at that later. Probably. Oh, I was so focused just now. Do you have business with me? Are you spying? No, no, no. I'm not a spy. I'm a merchant. I may not look like it, but I'm actually the leader of a caravan. I've traveled all the way here, but this town doesn't allow men to go in. So that's why I had to, um... You spying. It's research! Research! And think, uh, what you want, but I've finally found some key info on how to sneak into Grudotown. What's the info? 
<laughs> well, allow me to share with you my heroic tale. It's been close to a week now. The guards have kicked me out more times than I can count. I almost gave up hope. However, I have learned only recently of a man who that slipped into this well-guarded town. I heard that man is frequently traveling between Karakara Bazaar and Gerudo Town. I've been waiting here trying to spot him as he travels. But it doesn't sound like he's uh, had much success with that. But while we're here, let's get this shrine. Err, uh, clicking wrong things, misclicking, why? Everything's fine. But this will be very useful to have as a warp to Gerudo Town. The whole picture, again, electricity in the shrine, which shows that these shrines around nearby Gerudo area are going to have some electricity involved. We have to try and connect some of these together using metallic objects to link it up. Haha, <laughs> funny link, because it's, 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 okay. Okay, and we also need to make sure we don't get too close to them while they're electrified, because that will end bad for us. Can activate both of those, like that, but that's not enough to reach. So I might actually just take that off for the moment. And it's still activating all of them, so we can keep it like that. Now, I don't think that's enough to get across there though. So how about we move that off for a second, and rethink what we're doing. So I think... This probably needs to be over here-ish. Or well, possibly the other one. And this needs to be there. Okay, it needs to be the other one, okay. That works. Just like that. That gives us another barrel. Metal barrel. To use. So let's figure out where I want to put this. Probably over here, and I can move the other barrel over here, over to here, connecting that whole bunch. Except I also need to move that a little bit more forward, like that. Good. And now, if we link this up with Link, we get a metal chest. Which, as you can probably guess, means we're going to use it for conducting electricity. Thunderblade! A magical sword forged and refined by lightning from the Hyrule Hills. When the blade shines with a golden light, it will electrocute enemies struck by it. Oh my goodness, why do I not have space? Probably because I got boomerangs. Arr, goodbye. Let's just grab that. Now we need to figure out what we need to do next. There's another thing over here that's closed with a block inside of it. So we probably want to get that before anything else. Before actually continuing with the shrine. We've got all the chests in the shrine as well. So don't need to worry about that anymore. But that probably means we also have all of the blocks and um, barrels we're going to get. So, let's go over here and figure out where this is going to connect because it needs to pass through some spaces. I think we want to put this one over here in the middle of those two. And then, if we go get our barrels, let's just pull that across. Let's put... I'm actually put this over here. Like that. Then let's grab this chest because it's a little bit longer than the barrels, I think. I want to put that over... I can't see... Over here. Like that. Okay. And then the last barrel. Oop, if I can actually grab it, please. Just gonna yank that across here. 
and just place it on this little bit over here. That connects all of that. Very satisfying. Let's grab this and come on. Plop that into place right there. Activating both of those. And now, if I grab... Ow, pain! I knew that was going to happen just seconds before it actually happened. If we go back over here... I'm going to put that there. And there we go. Those actually link up across the other side, so... Very useful. But that's another shrine down. So, now that we've talked to this guy here, we know that we're not supposed to be here yet. We actually need to go back to Karakarapazar to actually continue with all that. Also, this guy here, I want to talk to, please. Oh, it's just a guy. Saw me running around, huh? See, I heard Grudo woman like, liked a guy in sand boots. So I've been jogging all over for, for forever, trying to show off. But none of them will talk to me. I'm just standing to starting to wonder if that rumor was just a bunch of uh, bunk. Sand boots. <laughs> sand boots let you walk normally on sand. So if you live in the desert, believe me, you want a pair. But the only person capable of making them passed away, which means they're impossibly rare and extremely valuable. What do you think? Jealous, right? Give me those boots. Ha, huh, you're, 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 ah, uh, coveting these things after all, after you heard me sing their praises, not cool. Look, these sand boots are super rare, maybe I'd consider giving them to you if you're a girl, but a guy, no. I'm busy here, get lost. Okay. We also have some sand seals here, which is what, what they're called. I feel like I can actually use them possibly if I were better at all this. Also, there's a, the things around that are just hard to see with the lighting. But I think if I get close to one stealthily, possibly. Please. No, don't run. Ah, oh, man. I think you can actually use them. But I can't remember how. Oh wow, don't tell me you crossed the Gruda Desert on foot. I came on foot. Must have been hard to walk through the desert, especially having your f feet sink into the sand. It's common sense to travel the desert with sand seals around here. My name is, my name is Fr Frelly. I ran. I run a shop in Gruda Town where I rent out sand seals. Most people can't take the time to train their own sand seals, so I rent out the ones I've trained. <laughs> if you needed to know anything about sand seals, uh, I should be your first stop. <laughs> um, how do I catch one? Uh? Sand seals are especially sensitive to the sounds around them. The trick is to approach very, very slowly. It's a pain in the neck, though most, so most Grudo just end up renting one instead. Okay, I was doing that, but I don't know if I can get these ones because these are the ones she's training. How do I ride one? <laughs> Steering a sand seal is really easy. They'll go in whatever direction you want to, but you need a shield to sand uh, seal surf. So don't forget about that. Just giving it your best... Giving it a shot is best, but if there's anything you don't know, get, uh, let me know. Um, if you're having a hard time catching one, come to my shop, buy my shop in Gruda Town. I rent out sand seals and, oh, you're a vow. My shop is inside the town walls, so you won't be able to get in. <laughs> Hang on, I want to check the last option quickly. A sand seal. Sand seals are animals native to the Gerudo Desert Gateway. 
It's quite dangerous to cross the desert on foot, but if you have a sand seal, you'll breeze right along. Obviously sand seals are incredibly important to the Gerudo people. You know the best way to learn is by is to do this just by doing it. Okay, so I said that it's by the gateway, which is over here. So maybe there's one down there or some down there that I can actually ride. If I'm wrong, I'm going to be taking a lot of time to walk around. But it's better than waiting around here and just hoping. I did not know there was water right there. How have I never seen that? I don't know. But anyway. Let's just go down this way. And attempt to do... To get a sand seal. Just to make things a little bit faster going back to Karakara Bazaar. Because there should be some around here, right? This is the gateway. How native are, are they? I don't know what I'm going to do. There's a rock here. <gasps> the red rupee. Very nice. Just as a random reward on the side of the road. Looks like there aren't any sand seals directly here. Which is a problem. So it looks like I'm going to be just walking now. There's a little thing over here with a uh, electric chew in it. Oh, they heard me. Er, take this. Take this. Oh, he fell in. Cool. There's also a thing there we can pull out of the ground. Oh, hello. Oh my goodness. Take this! Take this! Oh, there he goes. Over the edge almost. Oh, come on. Please hit him. There we go. Maybe... There goes my weapon. Just gonna set him on fire then. Oh, hello. I shield... Oh my goodness. Ah! Oh my goodness. Oh, that aim must have ended badly as well. Just gonna blow that up. Shocking that thing. Oh my goodness, this is a lot of work for just regular enemies. Oh my goodness, please don't kill me. Oh, let's eat some of that and some of that. Cool. Okay, that's that done. Oh, please, come on. Oh my goodness. There goes the flame blade. There we go. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of work. Gerudo shield. The design of this metal shield has changed over the t over time to match the Gerudo's sword and shield fighting style. It's favoured by soldiers and travellers alike. Yellow Lizalfos tail from Electric Lizalfos. I think this is... No, this is a Gerudo... Okay. Gerudo Scimitar. We've already picked it up before. That's good. We just didn't take a picture of it, apparently. Grab all that. And all of this. And let's get that chest that I popped out of the ground. Don't know what just whizzed by me. Now the Gerudo shield. My inventory's full. That's okay. I can get rid of the shield I'm currently equipped with. Since it's only three defense. Probably never helped me a day in my life. Maybe. Let's also heal again. Okay. Enough of that, let's head back to the bazaar. Oh, there's also another chest there as well. I don't need to get it, but I can see it, so I'm gonna go for it. Because I can. Let's grab that, and yoink! And grab that. 
Ten arrows. That was well worth it since it's arrows. Always need more arrows. I don't think I've mentioned it yet, but you can also just uh, shield surf around here. And it's quite good for getting around the desert. So anyway. Karakara Bazaar. Oh, that's a lizard. Lizard, different lizard. Okay. And there's also a Goron here. Why is... Why did you go back to sleep suddenly? Uh, what's the deal with this cold? How does it get this cold in the desert? I hate this... I hate the nighttime here. Okay, then. Guess you don't have anything else to say, then. And also beetles here. Yeah! Wow! Yes, I'll give you the rhino beetle. If I have to. So excited, you're such a sweetheart. I'll give- I'll add this bad boy to my beetle collection. Yay! Anyway, back to business. What are you looking for? I'm good. I'm really good at the moment, actually. So good that I just want to leave you there. Okay, so... Let's have a look at the... The person. Which one is it? Is it... Forbidden search city entry, okay. Try to locate someone who, uh, people who know the, his whereabouts. But that is it for this episode, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.